Hi, and welcome to another episode of IR Customer Service TV. Today's episode deals with uh, a common question we have. It was actually triggered in part by two recent emails that I received. One from uh, Al Baker, who works for Southern Sea Ventures. It's a sea kayaking operation. Um, he's in Switzerland right now, but I think his company's based in Australia. Uh, an amazing, amazing operation. Check it out, southernseaventures.com. Um, he wrote in asking about the difference between a Reggie and a lounge band. And the second uh, note that I got was via a web comment. Um, it was regarding the installation of a back band into a, uh, into a maybe a composite sea kayak or any kayak without a traditional roto molded hollow seat tower like you see featured in our video on our website. Um, so this, this uh, customer service TV will answer those two questions. The first one we'll start off, with, start off with is with Al's question regarding the difference between the Reggie and the lounge band. Uh, for those of you familiar with our with our product, those are those two units are our ratchet style back band. Um, these back bands allow you, uh, with this ratcheting mechanism here, to basically sit in the back, uh, sit in the boat, and ratchet and tighten the back band while you're still sitting in the boat. Um, it's our patented design. We used to make a third uh, model back band called the Flex Capacitor. Um, we no longer make that back band. However, if uh, if you guys are interested in getting a hold of one of those, we still have a few here in stock, and I know some of our retailers have them too. If you're interested, give us a call. We'll help. We'll help you track one down. Um, basically, let's go over the differences between these two these two back bands, and and really the difference is uh, primarily it's a matter of size. The Reggie is a little bit smaller back band. It's about 13 and a half inches uh, wide here, and about um, four and a half inches tall, whereas the Lounge band is. Uh, about just shy of 15 inches wide and about five and a half inches tall, making it an inch bigger in both width and height. Uh, beyond that, the lounge band is a is a thermoform back band, which means that the surface is a little is a little bit a little bit tougher, but um, and stronger as a result. But also will shed water a lot quicker. Um, the Reggie uh, is a is a neoprene uh, cover over a foam insert. It's a little bit softer. Um, but it will actually that will make it stay wet a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Um, beyond that, you know they're pretty similar in the back. Uh, they both have the ratcheting hardware. They're both going to come with an extra set of adapter straps, which we're going to cover in a minute. Uh, you know, various installation points, webbing um, here to go up to the cockpit rim, bungee clips that, that I took off for the sake of showing the back of the back band here. Um, the lounge band has a mesh zipper zipper pocket on the back of it. Um, put your keys in there, whatever. Uh, so basically, you, you could say that the Reggie is sort of your no-nonsense. I would say, you know, I don't want to say it's a whitewater back band, but it's for a lightweight, no-nonsense, simple back band done, bam, uh, maybe better for a smaller cockpit, uh, narrower seat type arrangement. The lounge band might be, I don't want to say touring or sea kayaking, because I don't want to imply that they're not out there being aggressive kayakers. Just a little bit bigger, a little bit spa more spacious, a little bit heavier, has a little extra accessory on the back. Um, so there's no right or wrong answer. I mean, I think both of these back bands will fit in almost every boat. I think there are a couple of boats out there that have such a narrow seat, you, you know, where space is such a premium, you're going to want to take your tape measure and measure the Reggie may be better for you in that case. Other than that, they're, they're very similar. It's really a personal preference thing. So, Al, I hope that, that answers uh, your question there. Um, the next thing we're going to discuss is putting these back bands into a non-traditional, what I mean by non-traditional, is a non-rotomolded seat tower. And for that, we're going to go downstairs where I have a boat set up ready to show you that installation. So, the next part of this film clip involves uh, putting one of our back bands into a, uh, a, a boat that may not have one of those rotomolded seat towers you see in our video. Um, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that with any installation, there's no right or wrong answer. When we send you a back band, uh, we buy an IR back band, it comes with a variety of, of hardware. Um, it comes with these straps like this with a chuck on the end of it to pass through the sea tower. You also get these things called adapter straps that, that ship with it, a variety of bungees and things in the back of the, of the back band. You can cut them off, use what you want, use, take off what you don't want. There's no right or wrong answer here. I can give you a couple of easy points though, to help you put a back band into a boat like this that just has a flat fiberglass seat to it. Um, the first thing that you can do is actually take these chucks off with a 3 inch uh, Allen wrench. And these things will just unscrew. When you take them apart, um, the one thing you're going to find inside of, these, inside of these straps is a little washer. Um, and the washer is this guy right here. It's important that when you put this thing back or install this thing in your boat, you try and keep that washer in place. And that will actually help to keep the back band from the strap from tearing from pressure. Um, so try and keep that guy in there. 
Uh, but basically, when you have a, a seat like this, you can actually take this strap and bolt it right to the seat itself. Um, with, a, with a quarter inch drill bit, a three sixteenths inch, drill, three sixteenths inch drill bit, just bolt it like that. In fact, what you may want to do is actually bolt it behind it so the strap's not hitting your, hitting your hip or anything like that. If you find that this strap is too short, um, we send these things with every back band called an adapter strap. Um, and what you can do with this is actually take this piece of hardware here, connect it to the end of this, like this, bolt it together, and then bolt this into your boat. And this can actually go into existing hardware here if you have it, or into a hole you drill right into the seat like that. Or, in some cases, you actually may find you have to have to drill a hole to the top of the boat right here. If you do that, what you probably get is go to your hardware store and get some rubber washers to keep the, keep the hole watertight. That's a pretty scary thing to do, to, to drill a, a hole in the top of the boat like that. However, if you keep it away from your rim a little bit so it doesn't interfere with your spray skirt, um, it's not that big of a deal. It's a very, very common way for people to install seats anyway, so you're not doing anything that's that unusual. Um, and then, as always, if you have any questions about how to install a back end, or if you need extra hardware, if you need some set of, extra set of these, or you want some of these, these screws here, or an extra strap, give us a call. We'll send you some. Um, and if you go to the hardware store and buy hardware, make sure that you pick stainless steel hardware, of course, especially if you're going to be out in the salt water. Um, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions about backbands, once again, don't be afraid to give us a call or drop, drop us an email and we'll help you out right away.